Have you ever checked to see how many fingerprints you have registered to your smartphone? Most of us don't even name these. So how do you know which fingerprint was made by which finger? And for those of you who do name them, just because you see a label that you're familiar with doesn't mean that a sneaky friend or family member couldn't have replaced it with their own. So Google recently introduced a new feature to its Android 16 beta that lets you verify which fingerprints of yours are registered to which fingerprints have been saved to your Pixel device. To find this new feature, we first need to dive into the settings application. And then we're going to scroll through this menu here so that we can tap on the security and privacy menu. And then on this page, we're going to tap into the device unlock section here. And then you're gonna find the traditional ways of unlocking your phone. But we're going to focus on the fingerprint method. So this is the page where you can see all of the fingerprints that have been enrolled on your device. And again, don't forget that you can rename these by tapping on the name from here. But if you look at the bottom of this list, then you'll find a check enrolled fingerprints option. And if we tap on this, you're gonna be instructed to scan one of your fingers. After a print has been scanned, if Android finds a match, then it will flash that enrolled entry. If there is no match, then Android will tell you that the fingerprint is not registered. And that's really all there is to it. This is a simple feature that I've actually seen on other Android devices already. So I was surprised to learn that Google took its time to add such a feature. But I do appreciate that it has been added to the QPR1 update to Android 16. If you have gone through and scanned all of your fingers, thumbs included, and you still have some enrolled prints that are a mystery, then it's probably a good idea to delete them since they may not have been from you. Although, it is possible that the data of a saved fingerprint has gotten corrupt over time. Or, it's possible that there was a conflict when performing that initial scan of the fingerprint. Either way, checking and verifying the enrolled fingerprints on your daily driver is a smart way to make sure your device stays as secure as possible. We are still a couple of months away until this update gets pushed to the stable branch, but definitely be on the lookout for such a feature even if you don't own a Google Pixel device. As I have seen this feature on my Red Magic 10 Pro, even though it only has Android 14 installed on it. Now, I appreciate each and every one of you who has stuck with me to the end of this video. When I go through the analytics of the channel, it's always nice to see so many of you sticking with me to the end here. If you haven't done so already, please do not forget to give this video a like and then subscribe to the channel as well for more Android 16 content like this.